Oh, what's up everybody? It's RJ back with another video for you guys and another pair of Ultra Boosts, of course. And I'm gonna do things a little differently. I actually haven't even pulled these out of the box yet. Um, I posted a picture of these on Twitter a couple days ago and everyone's dying to see them. Um, a lot of people have photographed them already, but what we have today is the Eddie Huang Adidas collaboration. And like I said, it's another Ultra Boost. Gonna, gonna break them out, see what it's all about. And I wanted to unbox them with you guys so I can get the full effect. Um, and give you guys my first initial impressions, reactions, all of that stuff. So with that said, let's get into them. All right, so I picked these up from Bait. That's baitme.com. I um, actually have a, a few pairs of them coming because I wasn't sure what size to get. This one is a size 10 and typically 10s fit me pretty well. So I'm reviewing them in this size because they were the first ones that came. So there you've got the box tag right there. Eddie Huang, CNY Ultra Boost. Obviously CNY stands for Chinese New Year. Like I said, size 10. Obviously, haven't even mentioned it yet, but the box is beautiful. You've got the gold Adidas Performance logo, the gold panda obviously representing Eddie. He is Chinese, he's a chef. He's um, he's He's been in the sneaker scene, he's been in the fashion scene. He uh, gives input on a lot of different things. If you don't know who he is, go look him up. This video is about the sneakers, not about Eddie, but shout out to Eddie. This is a badass collaboration from what I've seen. So let's open them up. Anything else special in the box? Same logo is right there on the opposite side of the sizing area. Obviously little hole right here, slide them open. Right out the gate, you have a dust bag. It says Chinese barbecue boys. It says barbecue all over on that side an Eddie Huang experience on the opposite side. And then obviously says Adidas right below that too. Um, nice quality dust bag. I don't typically use dust bags, but it's definitely a cool addition to the, to the drop. Nonetheless, tissue paper is your typical Adidas tissue paper that you get with most ultra boosts. All right, so there's first thing I'm seeing right there is the shoe that has the extra laces and the tags attached to them. So let's bust these off of here. Two pairs, two sets of alternate laces. One is black, one is salmon colored. Both have those gold aglet tips on them. Um, I love the salmon. I'm not sure how it's going to look with these shoes, but nonetheless, the color's pretty awesome. Um, it'll work, it'll work and I'll explain why. So that's that. Let's get the other shoe out. And there you have them right there, both left and right shoes. And where are we gonna start with these? So much detail, so many different pieces of material. I guess we'll start right there with the tongues. You've got the Adidas Performance logo, as I already mentioned. You've got the Panda on the opposite side. Um, it's gonna be Eddie's logo throughout this collaboration right here. And make sure there's nothing different so I can just focus on one shoe and we're gonna go with the right shoe. Kind of cool, typically on collaborations, the collaborator's logo is on the left shoe. Um, I don't know why I'm noticing that or why it's a detail that I'm picking out, but Eddie's is on the right shoe. I don't know if there's any significance to that at all, but something cool to point out. So before we go any further, let's start with that real leather tag right there. You get that on a lot of collaborations. For those of you who have never watched any of my videos or any other videos on Adidas collaborations, every time there's a leather cage on an Ultra Boost, they give you that little piece of real leather right there. Um, cool little addition. Um, they've been doing that for quite a while since since at least the Ultra Boost have been doing this. I don't know about anything previous uh, in the Adidas lineup, but that definitely is uh, is a part of the Ultra Boost. And while we're on the leather, the leather is ridiculously soft, super, super high quality. And it is on the outside of the toe box, the cage, as I already mentioned, and the heel cup. And I think that's it for the leather. With that said, you've got a 1.0-ish Ultra Boost upper. And that is the prime knit right here is definitely 1.0. Typical 1.0s obviously do not have that leather toe box. And uh, the only reason I'm saying ish, when I say 1.0 ish, is because when you come back here to the ankle area, all the way wrapping around the ankle, that's a whole different pattern. 
um, and material weave that I've ever seen. I haven't seen that in any Ultra Boost personally. Um, I am wrong from time to time, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen this, this exact material. And also you've got that little pull strap right there on the back. They've been putting that on a lot of collaborations and, uh, and just Ultra Boost in general. I like it, I think it's cool. Definitely helps pull the shoe on and, uh, and just a good aesthetic piece to have. So, man, these are, these are amazing. Let's go back up to the tongues. We already touched on these a little bit. Obviously you've got suede right there. You've got the logo right in the middle. Right behind the tongue on the inner, you've got nylon on the inside of the shoe. I like that because slipping them on is not difficult. That's a slippery material. So putting them on, getting your foot in there, even if Ultra Boost from time to time are a bit snug, that nylon inner liner definitely helps get the foot in there a lot easier than uh, you know your typical cotton and or whatever else they decide to put in there. Let's pull that out. I'm going kind of ass backwards here, but you've got that same nylon on the removable insole right there and the same Chinese barbecue boys Adidas branding that we saw on the dust bag bottom is a typical Ultra Boost insole that we're used to seeing. Like I already said, you've got that hit of leather all around the toe box. You've got it on the cage on both the lateral and medial sides of the shoe. It is red, obviously, I haven't mentioned that yet, but it is an assortment of reds all throughout, obviously representing the Chinese culture, um, Eddie and everything that Adidas typically does with their Chinese New Year shoes. There's always hits of red in them, but this is an all red shoe and I'm just, uh, I'm pretty fascinated with it. On the inner part of the cage, You've got gold liners um, on both sides. Cool accent colors. Obviously that's gonna match the lace tips. That's gonna match the torsion system right there. It comes up right underneath the heel and that's gonna match the torsion system all the way through the bottom of the shoe right there on the outsole. As you can see, like I said, I just pulled these out of the box. I haven't even looked at them yet. So I'm kind of bouncing around compared to my typical Ultra Boost um, unboxing. So, talked about the cage, talked about the tongue, the upper, head right back to the heel cup right there, which is also leather, as I mentioned before, both lateral and medial sides. The lateral side of the shoe does have a Chinese letter, logo, word, phrase. I don't know what that means, I apologize. Perhaps I should have dug into that a bit, but there is a character of some sort right there in Chinese on the heel cup. So if anybody knows what that says, that's what the comment section below is for. Stock laces are red cotton. Again, you've got those gold lace aglets right there. Awesome, awesome addition. All three pairs have that. And I did say that I would come back to these salmon colored laces, which I think are really cool. I'll hold them up to the shoe. If you look right there in the toe box, hopefully the camera picks it up. There is salmon woven into that toe box and all throughout the uh, that upper prime knit section. So I'm actually gonna swap these in just because I think the salmon laces are really, really cool and we'll see how they look. Um, I'll put those on when I do the on foot so we can all get a feel for that. But for now, we'll leave these in. Before I go any further, pricing was 200, depending where you live, what your taxes are like, um, 210, 220 ish ship, depending where you got them from. As far as I know, they are sold out everywhere that they dropped. Um, they weren't super hard to get, and I don't think they're going for that far above retail, but if you don't pick them up now, they will keep going, and in due time, you'll be paying 100 plus resale over retail. So keep that in mind. If you want them, grab them now. With that said, you've got your typical Ultra Boost midsole, a ton of boost, nothing different than what we're used to seeing on an Ultra Boost. We already touched on the torsion system both underneath the heel and on the bottom. You've got that Continental rubber branded outsole that we've now become accustomed to on all Ultra Boosts. And I think that pretty much does it. So like I said, 1.0 upper, suede tongue, logos on both tongues, leather cage, leather toe box, leather heel cup, nylon inner, three sets of laces. When all is said and done, it is just an Ultra Boost. It is another Ultra Boost. But damn, if this isn't one of the best ones that I've ever held as far as materials go, design, colors, everything. The collaboration is fire. So let's put it on foot. Okay, I've got the Panda one on my right foot. And like I said, this is a size 10. I left the insole in just for try on purposes. And there is room for my whole foot to move. So going down half a size, 
is probably not a bad idea. Especially if you pull out the insole. If you're typically used to pulling out the insole, definitely a half size down. Um, they're not as roomy. If you're familiar with the Raining Champ 1.0s, they're not as roomy as those. There's definitely room though. I'm glad I'm gonna keep the half size down from my typical 10 and a half. Get rid of the 10 and a halfs that I have and, uh, and that's what I'm gonna do with them. Very, very, very roomy. Um, 1.0 knit is very stretchy and, uh, and yeah, half size down is my opinion. I've come to terms with the fact that I probably have a pretty narrow, skinny, small foot. Cause a lot of people are telling me that I'm crazy. Um, but a lot of people just have bigger, wider feet than I do. So keep that in mind. Um, true to size is probably fine. Half size down is not a bad idea if that's all you can get your hands on and or if it's cheaper than your true to size. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is an ultra boost. Comfort is always 10 out of 10. Pricing 200 is retail. Sizing true to size or half size down will do. You've got three sets of laces. And what else can I touch on, man? The box is beautiful. The shoe is beautiful. Hits a gold, reds throughout, a little bit of salmon. And yeah, I think that's gonna do it. If you have any questions, comments, anything I didn't touch on, comment section is below. I respond to 99.9% .9 of comments that are left. And, uh, and yeah, hit me up there. Hit me up on Instagram. Twitter's where I do most of my talking. And that's gonna do it for me today. Again, I appreciate all of you for watching this video. I will throw them on feet. Again, I live in Southern California and for some reason it has rained every single day. I've done a video recently. So as soon as it clears up, I will take these outside because you can bet your ass I'm not wearing them outside in the rain. So once it clears up, we'll do it on foot. We'll get this video posted. And until next time, peace out.